All right, guys, we're back here at M&R Trailers. Uh, Bob's got a, a concession truck that uh, we're just finishing up, and um, he wanted to show it to you, so here's Bob. Hey, folks, glad to see you back. Let's take a look at this truck that we uh, got in to give you some ideas of what's possible with these trucks. This uh, owner had a, had a tight budget, and uh, he wanted to get into the business, and uh, he was able to find this truck here at an auction, and I think he bought this truck, uh, I think he told me he ended up paying not over $3,500 for it. It is a diesel, and it has a good motor, but body's rough on it. He had to replace some parts and do a little banging out, but uh, some of the areas he just tapped up and threw some spray paint on, and, and we'll make some money with it first and fix it later. But uh, it's possible to take any truck that you get, and you don't have to have it looking like a Cadillac the first day. Uh, get it to where you can operate, where, where it functions, get some signs on it, and go from there. Let's walk around and look what we did with this truck and show you what's going on with it. Uh, this truck has an 18-foot bed on it. We looked at his floor plan and, in, and helped him design the floor plan for the equipment he wanted, and he had a lot of equipment on the driver's side of the truck. So we had to move all, make sure we had the water tanks on this side. We try to calculate the balance of the weight so your truck don't sit there crooked when it's sitting still from the weight on one side. So we decided to, rather than put the propane tanks on the rear each corner, we had enough room in the bed of this truck, because it was 18 foot, to build in some propane uh, regular box in the one side to put both tanks on the passenger side, help distribute some of the kitchen weight. You can see what we do, we just cut it out and build an aluminum door system. And we will put uh, two 100-pound cylinders. One of them's in, there's another one will be sitting beside it right here. The gas lines are in, and this is a total welded off sealed unit. So there is no vapor or nothing coming to the inside of the truck. We have the two vents to get the vapor outside. And that's basically uh, one way to put the tanks in a position where they're inside. It makes it kind of convenient for pulling up and filling them. You don't even have to take them off your truck. Uh, the next thing you see, which we do to all our all our commit our sink systems or any inside, this is your your fill up uh, water fount for filling up your water to your holding tank, and this is your hookup for a hose. If you have a water system or water available, you don't have to use your pump. You can hook a hose right in and charge your system, and this is your hookup there for that. Your holding tank is underneath. And you can see the valve here behind the wheel, that, uh, the dump valve, and strictly your wastewater from your sinks. This one has, uh, this one has a 20-gallon fresh and a 30-gallon waste, which is for, if you're not doing a bunch of dishes, you just need enough to, to get the building code and the restaurant get your license, and, uh, and uh, you, you're just not doing a lot of dishwashing, you're doing more cooking and serving in, in these trucks. Again, we have the pop-up tray, like we make it all of them. Uh, we, this comes any size based on the window you get. Putting it down, just your pop-up win, uh, window, which comes down and closes and has lock systems on it. This truck, when we bought it, had a rear door, had, a, had an overhead door in the back, a slide-up door. So what we had to do was remove the door and build a wall and build our own door system to get us set up so we can get this put together. Let's take a look at this truck. As you can see, the owner got all new equipment under the hood here, but he was able to find some used equipment. Uh, if Richard gets around, we will take a look at it later, we'll show you, but over here is a sandwich prep. It's a 48 inch sandwich prep refrigerator that he found at a very good price from a restaurant owner who was going out of business which we have no problem putting that in. If you have equipment you found and located, we certainly uh, we can certainly apply it. We can lay it out, we'll set it for it and make sure it goes in, we'll make sure it works and go from there. But this, uh, this truck is very basic. It's got a three base sink. It's got a splash guard with a hand sink on the other side. Uh, this is the propane tank area from the outside where we looked at where the doors were. We go ahead and put a lip around it so we have the shelf area on top, storage. Uh, we run the counter on by, build a counter over here, and this, this unit has a generator that is an RV built into the outside there with an outside door we'll show you that slides out, which is a pretty nice system for trucks. Uh, the service panel is put here, and as you can see, it's a 100 amp panel. Uh, 
basically we hook there's a main two main breakers one main breaker is for an outside plug-in for power if you have a power source at your event and you can plug your cord in your one breaker sets for your outside power if you're on generator you flip this over to the other side to your generator breaker we put a bar on the top tying the breakers together so you can never have the generator open when you plug in the outside power you don't back feed anything and ruin it so when you turn one off the other one goes on so you always have your power that way. We're on shore power right now. We have a plug into the shop. Uh, the cabinets are where you could get some 36-inch uh, cabinets. Is are put in at the tops. This area here, he's, the owner is going to supply his own refrigerator, which will stand here. And uh, as we move back, the systems in this truck for the Ansel system. And Richard will pass me and come back the other way. And uh, this system is all your fire protection, and all your hood vents. Or your hood, the lines that sprayers are inside your hood over each appliance. This one has a 40 pound twin basket fryer, a 24 inch griddle, and a double burner uh, gas burner top. 30 inch work table beside it, and then your 48 inch used piece of equipment he got here, which is in decent shape. He has to get the cups, but it has the cutting board, it sets here. And it was a good buy, so it saved him some money and it'll serve the purpose. Uh, he also is picking up at a later date a little under counter refrigerator he wants to put here, which will work under counter. You'll see this truck has open counters. It doesn't have any closed doors in the front of it, which is fine. It saves you some money and if you're not, you know, if, if you can live with the open counters, then it's no problem. It can be done either way. It, uh, it doesn't change the ability to cook and uh, it just saves you a little money and and uh, you know, get your trailer together quicker. The trailers are equipped with all FRP walling, wall board. It's uh, your fluorescent lights are in. Your AC unit and heat unit is on the top, and that's a 35,000 BTU unit, heat and cool. And your serving windows are all right here. You have your screens. If you want to leave your window up, you can pull your screens on down. And your windows, and then you can use your screen up and down for your passing in and out. And you can use any of the three windows. We put plugs on each side of your windows for cash registers either way or hopefully we replan all this prior on your floor plan and most of the time uh, it'll end up the way you set it up. Sometimes you'll add equipment and we try to put the plugs to where if you add something you're still okay. So that's how we do the trucks and uh, every truck is different. And you can see this one is, uh, is a lot of truck here. He's got an 18-foot bed, and he's got a minimal amount of equipment in it, but a lot of room for expansion. Uh, one of the things he did right, though, he set the generator up right, and he's, he, he set the things he needed up that, that you know, would cost later to tear up and refit. And, refit. and uh, well, let's walk out and take a look at the generator system. It's a, it's a pretty nice system, and it helps, uh, helps room, and it helps maintenance, and it's an RV 7.5. Okay, it does a good job. It will run everything on the trailer and you can't hear it even running when you're in here. All right, let's go on. Here's the generator we were talking about that's inside of the truck frame but accessible from outside. The generator has a vented system totally for air to get around it, which you need. We, use, we build doors of different types, but this one we put on a full hinge. And here is your RV 7.5 generator. Bring this generator to where you can service it. There's two pins here, and then the generator comes right out, all the way out to where it's serviceable. Uh, this makes it real convenient for checking lines. We got battery cables you'll see running back. They run all the way to the battery of the truck, so that your generator is fired up from that. This is your excess panel, and there's your generator start up and main breaker. This is your 7.5 Quiet RV by Generec. It's a nice unit. Very quiet and uh, it works real well for these, for these trucks. Putting the panels back on, you can put them in, lock them, slide this right back into where it goes, set the pins on each side. And we have an area right here with a locking device. We have you put your own padlock on that and it can't get the rack out until until it's padlocked again. And this device here that we put the door, you got a padlock area for the bottom right here and for the top. So this way, no one's opening your doors up. And uh, 
depending on the size of your generator, is the size of opening. This was sized for a larger generator because we had the room for it, and then they went ahead and purchased this. This generator is actually a very good top of the line generator, and it's a smaller than the, some of the bigger ones, less expensive. And this is much quieter than most of them on the market. So this is where we put them, and then if you don't have to use your generator, right here is your plug-in for your shore power or your uh, any power source you have. You plug your cord in here into the power source, hit your breaker to outside power source, and you're uh, lit up. And that's just about how they go. You can see that this truck is still, you can see it was bought from Census Corporation. It hasn't been painted or fixed. Uh, had some bangs around it, but we cut out most of the bangs here and we put the generator in. And uh, it's, it's serviceable. It's, it's ready to go to work. Basically, uh, the owner is probably picking this up on Monday. And uh, he's ready to go. So trucks tells you they don't have to be brand new and shiny. Whatever you find, we can convert. We can make it work for you. So give us a ring and uh, we'll try to set up and give you an idea what the budgets are and uh, go from there. We'll see you again. A lot of you folks are out there looking for trucks and when you find them, this is usually what you find. Uh, we just got this truck in uh, this past week and started on it yesterday. Yesterday uh, we removed this overhead rolling door. When there used to be tracks, you can see some of the tracks left here. And it's back inside the wall so it won't hurt us. We took them out from here up and around, the roller system out. And in the front, you'll usually see them when you buy them, there'll be a screen across the front between the driver and the bed. It'll be like a fence. And we remove all that. And then once we've already made, it, made blueprints into floor plans, and this trailer's all laid out for the build-out. So the first thing we do is remove the inside and gut it. And then we've got everything out, and we start the framing inside. You can see is what we use for framing. The framing studs are all 8th inch full aluminum square tube. It won't rust, and it's light, and it's very strong. And we actually laid the truck out on 16-inch centers throughout the truck. This is where the concession window is going to be. This is going to be a four-footer by three-footer. And this will cut right out, and the concession window will come into this. But we will we will we'll leave it this in until the concession window is delivered. We get it built. And then we won't cut this out until we get ready to put it in, so it'll be in and out the same day. But uh, you can see you're in here with your fender wells. We've already ran gas lines in this truck, brought it up over here to where the manifold's going to be. And it's also, this truck is going to have a generator built into it like the truck we just showed you. And there's a gas line run across to the other side over here with another uh, regulator down to half ounce, half, half pound. And then it comes to the back of the truck. There'll be racks built above the lights, and the 100-pound tanks will be here. There'll be a wall across here and a door in the center, just like you see the truck next to us here. But uh, we thought we'd just give you a glance of uh, what we start out with. We start out with a bare truck. We take this thing, and we sit, and the next thing we do, we get the framing completed. We'll bring the, our wiring, our electrician in, and we'll wire all the boxes and set the panel. We'll set the wiring out. We'll set the panel after the walls are up. But we'll get all the wiring in, everywhere it goes, and then we'll put it come in here and we'll foam all the walls with one inch foam. And then we'll put three inch plywood on all the walls. And then we'll come and put your F, this one will be getting the white FRP on top of the plywood. So that's how we begin them. And uh, we had one sitting here in this position, so we thought we'd just go ahead and uh, let you have a little look at uh, some of the starts. I mean, we want to show you a finished product, but somewhere along the line, this is where you start. So. You get an idea that uh, what you have, what you find out there, just because it looks like a big empty box, that's what we need, it's a big empty box, and we'll go from there. So good, happy hunting, and find yourself a truck, give us a call.